Hey there, welcome to your ultimate Tosca 2025 playlist where testing becomes smarter, faster and much more efficient. Whether you are just getting started with Tosca or refining enterprise grade workflows, these tips and tricks will help you fix flaky tests, streamline new executions and unlock Tosca's full potential. Well, in our first episode, we are looking at a very common problem which uh, affects your test execution. Are you still using the click method in Tosca? Well, the tiny operation might be silently killing your test cases. In this video, I will show you why click is outdated, how to replace it with the smarter X operation and how to do it in bulk. So no manual edits, no wasted time. Let's fix all the flaky tests once and for all. So here is the issue. The click method depends on screen resolution. If your test runs on uh, multiple screens or different screens than the one which uh, this has been developed in, then your click may not work. That means false failures, wasted debugging time and inconsistent results. But X at the same time, it's programmatic. It checks if the control is enabled and executes the click. So no mouse pointer, no resolution dependency. It's the smarter, more reliable choice. Also, don't forget, uh, it's one of the recommended best practices to use the X uh, instead of the click method in your test cases. But most of the times uh, teams do forget this and uh, we generally try to use the click method because uh, it is quite straightforward and also it is available as a direct keyword when you are creating your test cases. So let's jump into Tosca and let's look at a real time scenario where I will be trying to find out all the test cases uh, which have got this test steps using this click method. And we are going to replace uh, every instance of this click method uh, with the X option in bulk so here uh, i'm in my tosca workspace and i'm going into my test cases section from here i am going to uh, open the search option now that will give me two options simple search and tql search so we are going to use the tql search um, and then we are going to write the tql query okay so here i'm going to use the subparts uh, since i am on a test cases folder level you can see it is showing me all the subparts uh, which are part of this particular folder, right? And then we are going to use x test step value, okay? And inside this, uh, we are going to use value uh, that equals to i and then the question mark. Uh, we'll also use the click here so that it searches for this and then we are going to close this okay so this is the tql query uh, which we are going to use so let's see um, here you can see uh, it has returned me all the test steps uh, which are using this particular uh, click method right uh, if you want to see more columns here uh, we can choose the column uh, chooser here and then uh, we can go here and uh, we can choose this value so once you choose this value column you will see that it is showing me uh, I have used the click methods on this particular uh, elements so these are uh, my test steps and then this is the value I'm using in order to perform uh, my click operation on different um, either links or buttons um, or even elements right so we have got all the test steps from our workspace uh, in our test cases section where we have used the click method now uh, we are going to select all these results here and then uh, we are going to right click and uh, we are going to say modify uh, we'll go to value and uh, this will show you a modify attribute field here we have got an option to replace with uh, and we can also use regular expression and that is what we are going to use so we are going to select the regular expression here 
it's going to search for the click here you can see so these are all the click values and then we are going to replace it with the x so here you can see i have put x here so it is going to replace this click with uh, x now this one issue here uh, if you look at the table below uh, it is replacing most of the values okay but uh, it is actually searching for the exact search item right which uh, is the click but this particular third click uh, is in a different format and that is why it is not able to recognize that so what we can do is uh, we can basically put some more regular expressions so that it can actually also identify this variation of the click so what i can do here is i can put a or operation here and i can put click and this is how it should look like so uh, it's basically a regular expression for or operator so we are saying that search for either this uh, click operation or for this operation and then replace it with x okay so here you will see all the values uh, have the new value and then we click on modify all and then uh, it will give you the message that it has applied to all six objects so we'll click on ok and uh, then if i go back to this particular search i can also verify whether that uh, particular operation was done correctly so if i search now you will see i get no values uh, where it is basically showing the click operation right so all meta steps and values have been replaced correctly with the x now uh, if you want to dig further then you can even play around with this sql query and uh, you can see when i replace this click operation with the x uh, this is what i get so i can get a lot of different values here because uh, it, it searches for x where it is containing that particular x value right so but this is where it is so what i can do i can maybe jump to module attribute or i can jump to object in a test case so i can land into my test case here i can see this is my test case and this is where we are using somewhere to click on a button or a link using the x operation so this is one way you can also do it manually so instead of bulk operation you can um, search for the click operation and then go to the test case and replace it but if you have got hundreds or thousands of test cases um, and especially using that click operation so manually doing that could uh, take up to hours or even days um, which i would not recommend so the bulk uh, modification is the best way to tackle this particular problem um, a few things to watch out for so if you forget to enable regex then tosca won't recognize the click operation properly um, all the time like we saw before um, always back up your test cases before you do these bulk edits so something might go wrong in this whole process and you might um, end up rewriting all your test steps which is not ideal so always back up your test cases in a different folder before you are actually doing these changes and then you can adapt this method to replace any outdated um, methods or operations which are part of your test cases so you can uh, do the bulk search and then you can do a bulk update so that's all for this particular video where uh, we looked at how we can um, replace the click operation with uh, the x operation which is much more dynamic and much more smarter uh, and we also saw how we can do it in the bulk method rather than doing it manually one by one now if this particular method saved you hours of debugging then please smash that like button and subscribe for more tosca tips um, coming up pretty soon also drop a comment if you have run into similar problems i would love to hear your stories